Welcome to Business by the Beach 2019. In this live stream, I'm gonna be talking about five reasons why you are overwhelmed in your business. Five reasons why you're overwhelmed in your business. I know many of you uh, are gonna be able to relate to this, especially those of you who have been in business for a while. Uh, you're making money, you're making moves, and at times it just all seems like too much. Welcome, Tori, so glad that you're here. Please make sure you share this video. Um, tag another nurse boss uh, in the comments. And if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm so glad that you have been able to catch this series. Hey, Brandy, be able to catch this series. I'm live in Aruba. Um, make sure you check out all of the behind the scenes pictures on my Facebook and Instagram pages at Radiant Living Biz. All right, so let's get started. Five reasons why. Um, you're overwhelmed possibly in your business. Number one, the first reason why is that you are stuck being a one woman show. You're stuck being a one woman show. How many people can relate to that? You're trying to wear every hat, do everything from marketing to branding to sales to inventory to accounting to, um, you know, um, sales calls. Uh, to working with vendors, to taxes, to finance. It's so much uh, that we need to, to operate our businesses, but you really want to get to a place where you're able to work on your business um, and not in your business. So um, number two, the second reason why you may be overwhelmed in your business is that you are... Um, you're not seeing the opportunity cost. You are doing things that are $10 an hour jobs, you know, $5 an hour jobs, instead of delegating those things and focusing your time, your expertise on uh, your areas of genius, the things that you do best uh, and why you get paid in your business. So. You have to think about the opportunity that is lost. For instance, um, me spending, you know, the time to prepare to teach my classes via live stream or a webinar, and then to actually execute and teach that, um, the time that that takes me is very valuable for what it can um, produce as far as revenue and results in my business. So it doesn't make sense for me to spend my time um, on tasks that I could easily outsource uh, for a lower amount of money than the value of that hour of what my time is worth. So I want you to think about that opportunity cost. Number three, the third reason why you may be overwhelmed in your business. Welcome back, Latanya. Welcome back. The third reason why is that, hmm, I know many of my nurses can relate to this. You simply won't ask for help. Hey, Savitria, you will not ask for help. If somebody could share this video in b and &E, I would greatly appreciate it, um, or any of the groups that you are a part of. Um, you won't ask for help. You're suffering in silence, being overwhelmed, stressed out, and that's not what success looks like. So... Savvy entrepreneurs, smart, successful lady bosses um, certainly know the significance and uh, how critical it is to ask for help. Now, you want to be able to ask for the right help, but you don't want to sit there and suffer thinking that you have to know it all because none of us knows it all. And it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Okay. Number four, the fourth reason why you may be overwhelmed in your business is that you fear delegating because you're afraid that people are going to mess up. You think that you're the only one that can did it, get it done right. So he just says, I'm guilty, right? You think, I know at least one of these reasons, you know, somebody's going to be guilty, right? You, you, your fear, you, you want to control everything. Some of us have OCD, right? Some of us uh, are control freaks and you don't want to let go of your baby uh, thinking that people are not competent enough to get the job done. Well, guess what? A certain level of expertise, right, will allow you to train effectively and de delegate 
gate in such a way that people are able to be accountable for the work that they produce and you're able to really operate a business, okay? Because just with you being a one-woman show, that's not freedom, okay? That's not what freedom looks like. So there's going to be some mistakes. There's going to be learning curves. You have to give people an opportunity to progress and, and grow into a role, okay? You didn't learn it overnight, but people are more capable than we think. So that's number four. Number five, the fifth reason why you may be overwhelmed in business is that you don't know how to hire the right either assistants, virtual assistants, or staff. You don't know how to hire them. You don't know how to train them. And if you stay at that place where you don't know how to hire, you don't know how to train, then everything is going to be left on you. Or you will end up getting people and you'll be wasting money because they will not be able to produce the results that you're looking for. And it'll just be a vicious cycle. You'll get frustrated, think it's never going to work, and you will stunt your growth uh, and your potential as a business owner. So I wanted it for this series, Business by the Beach 2019, I wanted to come in, give you the gems and keep it moving. I know you're busy. I know you have your hands full. Let me know if you're resonating with what I'm sharing. If you're watching this in the replay, type replay in the comments. The best way for you to say thank you is to share the live stream. Let's do a quick recap. Five reasons why you're overwhelmed in business. Number one, you're stuck being a one woman show. Somebody scribe this out for me. Type it in the comments. Number two, you are not seeing the opportunity cost. You're not seeing the opportunity cost. Number three, you don't like asking for help or you won't ask for help. Number five, I'm sorry, number four, you're fearful people will mess up. You're fearful people will mess up. Number five, you don't know how to hire or train assistants, virtual assistants, or staff. Uh, so these are my five reasons. If this resonated with you and you're saying, Chanel, I know that I'm guilty. I know I need help. Uh, I want to reach out to you. DM me. DM me so we can have a, a conversation. I am connected with one of the most amazing seven-figure nurse bosses, the Nurse Preneur. Together, we have the Nurse Preneur Academy. We have 10 open spots for those who are ready to level up with us, um, to learn from my business expertise, uh, from her business experience and immense success. 10 spots. If you feel like it's time for you to turn it around, for you to get in position with people who um, you know, for instance, a nurse pregnant, she has 20 employees, 20 employees in her business. So you can imagine the, uh, what she's able to, um, generate in terms of revenue, in terms of impact, um, with such a large organization. It's no reason why you can't replicate the same thing in your business. If you have the right information, the right support, the right mentorship, DM me. My name is Chanel Washington. Profit Strategies for Nurse Bosses. I help my clients build multi six-figure business empires. I look forward to hearing from you so that you can apply and let me know why you are qualified to work with us in the Nurse Preneur Academy. I appreciate you. More Radiance.